Noteful and Color Note are gaining a lot of traction on App Store. Color Note was launched in December 2020, but Noteful didn't debut until October 2021, some 10 months later. Which of these two new apps do you need for your digital workflow? That's what we're here to find out. As usual, we'll break down this comparison into three sections. Similarities. Why Noteful is better. Why Color Note is better. And then we'll give you guys our final verdict. Today's video is the first part of this series. Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We'll be looking at features that are similar between the two apps. Those that leave you unsure which app to go for. Though Color Note has a large collection of page templates, the vast majority of us will never use most of them. More, therefore, is not necessarily better. However, we must admit that the app offers an impressive paper template library with summary templates you won't see in any other note taking app. The planners that appear to be free in Noteful are actually just branded samples. To get the full copies of the planners, you'll need to purchase them outside of the app. We don't mind note-taking apps that include in-app stores where users can purchase digital stationery. In-app stores are a great alternative to subscriptions, so of course we support them. In contrast, Notful has a smaller but respectable collection of paper templates. And you have more options for customizing them than you get in Color Note. Although Color Note's page sizes work, it would be better if we could set them ourselves and choose their orientations like we can in Noteful. Color Note has a lot of page colors, which is surprising for an app that doesn't have any page customization. The app gives you the freedom to choose the exact use for each notebook you create. On the other hand, Noteful only supports three page colors for your paper templates. Our team doesn't use any app templates in either app though. We instead use our digital notebooks, which you can purchase from our online store. We'll have a link to them in the description down below. What matters more than thousands of templates is the option to import your own preferred templates when the app doesn't provide one that you need. You can easily import your chosen templates in both Color Note and Noteful without a problem. Your text is contained in text boxes in both apps. In addition to the standard bold, italic and underline formatting options, Noteful also has a strike through feature which Color Note does not. Both apps allow you to use your own custom fonts. You can also adjust the font size change the color and align your text with ease. Where Color Note highlights your text, Noteful changes the background of your text box instead. You can always highlight the text using the highlighter tool in Noteful. You can customize the appearance of your text boxes in Noteful by applying a variety of styles which change the border type, border thickness, and background color, as well as its opacity. You can even change the opacity of the whole text box. 
Noteful also rotates your text boxes. Color Note doesn't customize text boxes. It can, however, save many text styles where you're limited to one in Noteful. The app can also duplicate your text boxes, but Noteful only supports copy and paste. They effectively do the same thing. Color Note gives you options to edit all your text, selected text, or sometimes specific paragraphs. When text is selected, only the selection should be automatically changed without any extra options. When you don't select anything in Noteful, for instance, the app modifies all the text in the text box. But when you select some words, it only changes those without any additional options required. This is a simpler way of dealing with text in a note-taking app. The differences in text options will not sway your decision towards either app. Both are first and foremost handwriting note-taking apps. It's probably safe to assume that you'll be writing most of your notes by hand. You may need a different app if you start typing a lot. Color Note and Noteful both allow you to record audio in sync with your handwritten notes, but not your typed ones. It's a bit limiting, but is much better than not having audio recording at all. If you need to record audio as part of your workflow, having a note-taking app that also supports audio recording is important. Both apps offer similar audio recording playback experiences with a lot of background noise. To reduce it, we recommend recording your audio while using headphones or earphones. They tend to help with noise cancellation. You can tap your notes to skip to different parts of the audio. Both apps can do the following with your audio playback. Rewind or fast forward. Noteful has 10 second intervals, while Color Note supports 5 second ones. You can speed up or slow down the audio playback as needed. Both apps list all your different recordings, which allows you to export them individually. Noteful also lets you rename your recordings. It helps organize them so they're easier to find. Noteful and Color Note don't have a lot of features in common, and that is quite fascinating. The two note taking apps are very different, and thus will appeal to different note takers. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the other parts in this series. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.